Hi guys, um, we are pleased to bring you the, the new Scott patron uh, e-bike today. Um, this is a bike that uh, Scott has been talking about for a while, but um, with all the stock issues, uh, it's been uh, hard to find really. And, and uh, this is a bike that actually we ordered getting on for nearly a year ago now. Uh, and we're really pleased it's finally uh, turned up. This is the tuned version, so not quite the top, but um, one down from the top of the range. It comes with a, a carbon frame and an alloy rear. Uh, and as you can see, it's, um, it's looking quite space aged. Um, certainly with e-bikes getting, seem to be getting slimmer and tidier, Scott have just kind of gone, it's an e-bike. You know, we're not trying to hide the fact that it's an e-bike, but we are going to make it a little bit different from all the others. So what you've got is the rear shock, tucked away in here, similar to the bolt design, similar to the Scott Sport design. It's all gone integrated now, so it cleans it all up. You've got no worry about all the rubbish getting onto your shock. And then we get some people go, oh, well, what about getting it? Your shock, how do you get it out? Well, no panic, it's dead easy. So all you do, turn this, and there's your shock in there. Dead simple. Put your, put your pressure in there. It's got a little uh, gauge on the back to set your sag on the side here. So uh, panic over, no problems. And then you just pop that back on again, turn the button, and there we go. Tucked away again. All the things that you've got, you've got the motor just slightly repositioned now. Um, they're all, um, some of the other manufacturers are doing that, just to try and get the weight in the right place. Um, and then you've also got that bit more sort of bottom bracket clearance as well, um, um, which makes it the handling a little bit better, uh, a little bit easier. Uh, this one now comes with a 750 watt battery, so the bigger battery, the new, the new system from Bosch, um, for those that want to ride further and go longer. Um, so this is at 750 and it also comes with the new Kiox system uh, and the new uh, Bluetooth system on here. So you've got more lights and buttons than a 747 um, and no generally plugging it in anymore. You can access it through your phone, which is a lot easier. Um, adding on to that, so it's 160 mil travel. So it's quite a big bike, but not super massive. It's not super heavy. You know, it's, you know there's no straining going on there, picking it up. Some of the, the bikes, you definitely have to brace yourself before you go in. Um, so this one's a little bit lighter. Um, but it has got some good kit on it. Box 38 with the Kashima uh, transfer post, again with uh, Kashima coating on there. So it is top end. Um, some nice Syncross wheels on there. They're not carbon, um, but they're, um, they are high end. Um, obviously, silk bearings, that goes without a doubt. Um, Tram X01 uh, group set on there. And again, uh, like a lot with Scott is, they skip the brakes and put Shimano brakes because they know uh, people prefer them. You've got the nice integrated hicks and bar on there from Syncross uh, with the internal cable routing. Uh, there's a lot of cables on these bikes, not just because it's got and it's got twin lock, but you've got obviously cables running off the Bosch system onto the Kiop system. The beauty of this new system is you can get rid of the head unit if you want, and it will still work. So if you want to save yourself a, a cable or two, you can remove the head unit completely and just use on the, the, uh, the controller on the side here with the lights to distinguish how much battery you've got left in there. And um, so, you know, it's forward thinking. It's, a, it's a, the future of bikes really with everything going internal, internally rooted. It's certainly a lot cleaner, but it looks funky as. Uh, it looks completely different. Certainly not gonna bump into many of these on the trails. Price wise, just over the 8K mark, um, which, you know, hey, we used to say that was a lot of money, but now with, um, uh, general terms, really, actually, it's it's just above the average price for an e-bike, which is scary to say, I know. Um, but then when you look at the uh, couple of other brands out there, one in particular, the Specialized, you look at the spec that you get for an eight grand bike, uh, it doesn't get anywhere near this. Um, so um, if you want to have a closer look, come down and have a look. If you've got any questions, post them up. Thanks very much.